Just days before the presidential primary in New Hampshire, seven of the top candidates squared off in the eighth Democratic presidential debate in Manchester. Billionaire Tom Steyer, Senators Amy Klobuchar, Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders, as well as former Vice President Joe Biden, former Mayor Pete Buttigieg and entrepreneur Andrew Yang qualified for the event. America, it's great to be back on the debate stage. <laughs> Thank you. Yang was back on stage after failing to qualify last round. The night started off with Joe Biden going after Pete Buttigieg after the former mayor led the state delegate count in Iowa. He's a mayor of a small city who uh, has done some good things but has not demonstrated he has the ability to, and we'll soon find out, to get a broad scope of support across the spectrum including African Americans. Senator Bernie Sanders also took hits from his opponents. A politics that says it's my way or the highway. Are you talking about Senator Sanders? Yes, because we've got to bring as many people as we can into this process. That was also the case on the topic of health care. Because two thirds of the Democrats in the Senate are not on your bill and because it would kick 149 million Americans off their current health insurance in four years. If we do what Joe wants, we'll be spending some $50 trillion on health care over the next 10 years. That's the status quo, Joe. The Democrats set a contrast between themselves and the president when discussing impeachment and foreign policy. This is not about Hunter Biden or Vice President Biden or any Biden. This is about an abuse of power by the president. We need to end this war in Afghanistan. We cannot wait five more years or 10 more years or until we turn the corner 10 more times. We need to bring our combat troops home. Among key topics were climate change, trade, and the Supreme Court. But there were some very contentious moments during a conversation about race and criminal justice reform. I think you should come over and disavow the statements that this man made because, that were uh, openly racist, that were wrong, and the legislative black caucus is against. I'm asking you to join us and do the right thing. I've already spoken to Dick Carpoulian, and uh, he, in fact, is uh, was... Uh, is, I believe, uh, sorry for what he said. It's important to own up to the facts about how race has totally permeated our criminal justice system. We invest in our young people in jobs and education, not more jails and incarceration. The primary will take place on Tuesday, February 11th, and then the candidates will square off again at a debate in Las Vegas on the 19th.